The body of the Mungume Mumatakaranyambe finally has been put to rest. Thousands of people witnessed the send off speaking during the burial. Zambian Republican President Hakainde Chema has called on the people in the province to work hard for the betterment of the country. The people of Bulozi and Sichabakao Pela, Mwalifasila Zambia. That is our duty. That's the angle of the struggle, is to work hard to advance the interest of the people of this province, of this country. Let us work together in that direction. That's the best way of remembering Jambe, Matakala. This province is endowed with a lot of resources. We have sung that, that song for a long time. Time has come now to actualize, to deliver on those commitments. Matakala spoke to me about the issue of remuneration of local civic leaders. The Republican president has called on all the people of Zambia to unite and show love to each other. And he said he remembers the red mayor as a freedom fighter. Matakala, we struggled together. We fought battles together to liberate this country. Matakala was in and out of court, in and out of prison, fighting to deliver this United Party for National Development into government. Of course, we must remember the family. We must continue living as a community with his family. And as a party, we must honor Matakala by being more united than before as we work to deliver. Speaking area, Western Province Provincial Minister Kapiro Mbangweta has urged the Republican President to consider Narikwanda to become a district in honor of Matakalanyambe, his vision. Mr. President, he talked a lot about the need to make uh, Narikwanda a district on its own, and it will be very fitting if he, that vision was realized even it is deemed it fit to declare Narikwanda and Yukos as a district. Meanwhile, local government association minister also has this to say. And there was a brilliant and bold civic leader, a great soul, who I trust saved the inhabitants of Mongu with passion. Mr. Mataka met his death in Mukushi in a fatal road accident 24th February 2022. The late, the late Matakala left a widow and three children behind. Mosia Wakabira reporting.